Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Yeah, it's another one of these. Do uh, I have lipstick on my teeth? Boy, dealing with women. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is the world famous Jennifer Frank of a little ball of hate. I am uh, Randy Galloway, not so famous, except today. I'm getting a big chuckle. Our local baseball team, those Texas Rangers, oh, they've had problems for all these many years, but never these kind of problems. The Rangers have declared bankruptcy. And here's the best part. Only the Rangers could declare bankruptcy and call it a good thing. Jennifer, you better, you better explain to me. You're more in tune to high finance than I am. Uh, how is bankruptcy a good thing? Well, because it's the only option. They either True. get they either get bankrupt status. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah, I they guess. either get declared broke, or else they're in real trouble. They need this bankruptcy to go through. Bankruptcy would be the best thing to happen to the Rangers if they get declared bankrupt. They could go get a catcher at the trade deadline. They could go get a first baseman. They could actually sign their draft well, picks I'd this year. Well, I explain that, though. That because being declared bankrupt would allow someone else right, to, to buy, to buy the team them who and, are in control, Mr. Greenberg and Mr. Ryan, who want to buy the team anyway. It allows people with money to buy the team. And this is just this crazy thing we've got going now. We have broke people running the baseball team. So we're trying to get it to people who aren't broke. Mr. Hicks, by the way, he ain't broke personally, well, but no. uh, business-wise, oh, uh, he is pathetic. And then Mr. Hicks over here, and then you've got Greenberg, Ryan, and their investors who want to put money in the team. Right now, it's being financed by Major League Baseball. Who drew up the budget, who draw up and have to approve any extra expenditures. Let's just break it down for people. If you like the Rangers, if you are a Ranger fan, pray for bankruptcy. Just hope that this Judge Lynn here in Fort Worth declares him bankrupt. All right, I got a question for you. And you, then MLB can come in and sell it to who it wants to sell it to. Major League Baseball that's gonna sells happen. it to Greenberg, Ryan, and that's why bankruptcy is supposed to be good if the Rangers win this case. God, I'm confused. Right, and so let's stick to something you know. You've been a little critical of Tom Hicks from time to time. I've defended oh, him. Yes, You've been you a little have. critical. As you look at this now, his last act as Rangers owner might be to get the team declared bankrupt. What do you think Tom Hicks' legacy is going to be? Overall legacy all these years, I would say loser. Absolute awful loser. Here's why, Jen. That's so mean. The man, it's not mean. It's true. The man started off, you could not be up there any higher than Tom Hicks with the Stars and with the Rangers. And then to watch this thing over the last 10 years or so. And by the way, the Stars, too. You know, we forget to mention them a lot in the mess they're in, our hockey team. But to watch this Ranger thing and what it came down to, if Hicks had, and you made a good point in the column today, and I agree. I could buy into Hicks if when two years ago, when he totally wrecked this baseball team financially, if he had admitted it then and said, look, I got to sell. I can't go, can't go beyond this and put that in an orderly process and had been out of here a year and a half ago, two years ago, then, okay, Tom, you did the right thing. You can't even, one of his biggest defenders, you can't even defend him the way he handled this, which up until the last month was still trying to wreck the sale of the team to, to Nolan Ryan and Chuck Greenberg. Denial. Got you on that and, one. And no, no, no. I can't defend it. And I defended him for a long time, and I think he was a good owner. Let's not forget... Tom Hicks is the last owner in this town to win a championship in anything. So all these owners you love, they haven't won anything. So Who do I love? Cuban? No. Jerry? You and Jerry have become close. Anyway, Tom's last one, but the, his behavior the last 15 months, it's really wrecked what should have been a good legacy here. He, he tried. Now, he was, the big, he was the guy who tried to get the big boy table and failed. But he tried. The last 15 months, though, sorry, Tom, I don't know what you were doing, but you were screwing up a baseball team. And now you and I got to sit around. We got to go to bankruptcy court. We got to, you know, watch fun stuff there. Lawyers uh, fighting. Mm. Money fights. Hey, don't you love money fights? We got both. I like when rich people are really hammering on each other. I love that thing. Now, uh, Jennifer gives Tom Hicks. He tried. Hey, I've been trying all my life. I still failed. Tom Hicks, you're a failure. That's all there is to it. We're back next week with more.